This next tool, Invert Selection, is used to select everything but the currently selected objects. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to keep this text, but I wanted to delete everything else. I could select the text first. That's what I want to keep. I hit Invert Selection. It selects everything but the text, and then I can hit Delete. That way I only keep the text. I'm going to undo that real quick. Um, another thing that it does as well is node-based inversion. So if I had my shape tool selected and I wanted to select these four nodes, I could do invert selection and it would select every node except for those four. So there's different reasons that you'd want to use that. Um, it comes in handy every once in a while. Not super useful, but whenever you need to use it, it, it does actually come in handy. Another thing, let's say if I zoomed to everything here and for some reason my stone was way up here in the corner that means that somewhere is a stray object and it's not even visible um, so one option is I can select what I want to keep here and then hit invert selection and it would select everything that's not what I want to keep and I'll hit delete and this time I'll hit F4 to zoom back and this time it's only going to zoom into what I had kept so those are a couple different reasons that you'd use invert selection, um, but the basic premise is that it will select everything other than what you currently have selected.